looking at the welterweight division, if Mikey is able to beat Errol Spence, he's in there with a lot of guys, Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, Amir Khan, Keith Thurman, Terrence Crawford. From what you've seen from all those, who do you think is at the top at 147 right now? Um, at 47? Man, they're all great fighters. You know, Crawford's a hell of a fighter. Uh, Danny Garcia's a hell of a fighter. Um, they're, 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 I mean, Sean Porter's a hell of a fighter. I mean, so it's really... But is there one that you look at and be like, ah, this one, this one is doing things that are different than the other ones? I think they're all... And I, I really can't. I really I think that all of them are, are great. You know, just like when me, Trinidad, and... Uh, and Oscar fighting, people don't know that. You know, I, I come from the 96 class. I jumped up and I and I and I and I want to fight the best because to beat the best, you gotta beat the best. And me, you know, I beat five world champions, Jordan Boy Campos, Roman Marquez, Wiki Ray, Aguarte, Javi Casiego. And the four that beat me never walked away saying it was easy. Cause there was times when I was in their ass to, to beat them too. So um, you know, uh, I really think that the division at World War Division is is a great division and right now, and, and there's great, great, great talent. How hard did Tito hit? I've always wondered that. Like, describe his punching power. Because they always say about how hard of a puncher he was, but how, how hard did he really hit? Let me ask you a question. Did he hit hard after, after Nassim Richardson cut him with the, with the reps? Right? Let me just tell you this. When I went to Puerto Rico for the press conference, because we're going to fight, Somebody came up to me, Garcia, and you could talk to my head fits or another Garcia. Robert, I don't think Robert was there. Some other, some mega manager of mine that was there too. Ex-manager of mine. So they come up to us after the press conference and some guy comes up to us and goes, he goes, Tito, um, and he goes, Fernando, you era del equipo de Trinidad. Dije, y a mi que chicas me vale madre, que? I don't know if you understand Spanish. And he goes, oh, Fernando, Fernando, Fernando we're, I was from the Tito Trinidad camp, man, what the hell does that got to do with me? Motherfucker, what does that matter to me? Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you this, and that's all I'm going to tell you. They can kill me for what I'm going to tell you. Looking back. Watch. Watch his raps. I said, what? Watch his raps. I said, why in the world? So when it was time for for when it was time for for us to 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 fight, um, we uh, um, we sent somebody over there to go. One of one of my assistant coaches. He went over there and he came back right away. I'm like. They're already done. You go, yeah, he's done. When we fought, I don't remember. I don't remember bits and pieces of the fight. On the way to the after the fight, on the way to the hospital, when my wife is in the in the ambulance with me, the queen, I go, baby, did it look bad when I went down? She goes, baby, you got up every time. I said, what? How many times did I get knocked down? I didn't know I got knocked down five times, and I got up every five. I got down, and I got up every five times I got knocked down. But I know what type of man I am. You have to kill me. I'm never gonna quit. That's why no me you already know whose jam it is. It's mine. And all these other fighters that want to come out with it now, you already know it's not yours. It's mine. So I know what type of man I am, and I know what type of a man I've always been. There's no bitch in me. So I didn't know that I got knocked down five times, and I and I got about five. But when I saw the fight, before that, I'm going to talk to my wife on the ambulance. And I go, baby, this motherfucker's not, not, not human. I go, what do you mean? She goes, what do you mean? I go, I felt like I was getting hit with bats. I go, what do you mean? I felt like an explosion, even a jab would hurt me. And I had never been down in my life prior to that fight. I got, I, I, I never been down in my life as an as a amateur pro. And I went down five times and I got about five. And every fight that I've lost, I ended up on my feet. I ended up, I ended up on my feet. So they can't say, "Oh, well, you got knocked out." Nah, I didn't hear nobody counting to ten. So, you know, 
that's my story. So have you ever spoken to any other fighters that have fought against them and, and brought that up? Well, not seen Richardson, but the fight what? They, they go, they made him rewrap, and they said, and then Tito said, if you need, if I need rewrap, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fight. They said, no, you're gonna rewrap, motherfucker. And if you don't, if you're not gonna rewrap, and you're gonna rewrap, and you're gonna fight, or else you're gonna get sued. And that's the the Hopkins fight you're referring to. Yep. Okay. So that's it, bro. I think they're gonna do me up there, bro. Okay. All right. Well, uh, Fernando, wow. That was uh, that's this crazy thing. Um, thank you for sharing your time with us, though. I, I really appreciate it. Here with Fernando Vargas in Las Vegas, Marcos Vegas for Fight Up TV.